and we are live welcome back everybody hello luke hello chiller hello trumpet hello sapphire wow that was fast Ooh, sapphire is out for chiller and trumpet says it went out of stock as i redeemed it oh man of course you know this means war Oh my gosh. How y'all doing today? Have a good weekend? Get this going. Load in. Okay. <sighs> so. <laughs> hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. Alright, enjoy your lurk, Benjamin. Okay. So... Let me see here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need to open that box. Um... That's done. We did make all of the... all of the shave ice. Hello, Asteriously. How are you today? Seriously, says Nancy Drew is my childhood hero. Honestly, same. Like her and Jessica Fletcher from Murder, She Wrote. That was my childhood. Wait. When I grow up, I'm going to be a cool lady who travels around solving mysteries. And instead, I'm me. But solving mysteries by proxy yes murder she wrote was my childhood that's done um, still need oh to yeah. do that to do that I can check this one off <laughs> Mike is now bigger around. I have never seen the movie clue I played the game a lot the actual board game can't check that off yet. But I have not watched the movie yet. Still need to do that. Alright, I need to unlock that box. And... Fall the guy. Okay, I've heard it recommended. And I just haven't gotten around to it. There are different endings, what? The other day I watched, and then there were none. And that was very fun. Um, all right, luckily I did write this down. Angela Lansbury was just queen. Did it work? Did what work? Hang on. Okay. Well, I haven't gotten the resub notification, so either it's slow or I need to fix something with my alerts. Probably need to fix something with my alerts and just can't do it right now. Um, uh, just, just on like, Angela Lansbury and Murder, She Wrote and all that. When I was a kid, like, the other girls would fantasize about being Cinderella at the ball at the end of the Disney movie, or whatever. And... my, like, dance floor ball gown fantasy was Murder, She Wrote, when Jessica um, danced with Dennis, the gentleman jewel thief. It's 
beautiful. Whoa, weird looking dude. Looks like he has something to do with getting into that chamber thing. But what? I've never seen him before. But maybe Nancy has. Wait a minute, I don't think we're Hello? done here. Hey Nance, it's me. Listen, I just came across something <laughs> kind of weird and I thought I'd see if you knew anything about it. I'd love to be able to help you. What is it? Well, it's a drawing of this creepy face that has a mouthful of teeth with all these animals on them. Wait a minute. I saw a face like that. It was carved into this wall I found while emptying frass jars for Quigley. Tell me more about the animals. Well, there's an eel, a turtle, a shark, a manta ray, a porcupine fish, an octopus, a crab, and an urchin. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I'll go back and take another look at it. It has something to do with this old map I found, so I have the feeling it's important. Then I'll definitely take another mm -hmm. look at it. Thanks, Nance. See ya. Well, we're going to have to, like, immediately call him back because we did everything except the one thing that we actually needed to do. Whoops. <laughs> so, you know, the huge. We're off to a stunning start. All right. Frank and Joe back. Hello? Hi, Frank. Me again. Sup? Nothing much. Mostly, I just wanted to say hi. Glad you called. Talk to you soon, okay? Hang on. Yeah, I need to watch Clue. I keep hearing it's good. And somehow have never seen it. I legitimately don't know how. Sapphire says... Okay. <laughs> also... Even though we never got the notification, because I guess I need to fix something or other. I'll make a note to myself about that. Um, thank you for the resub. I really appreciate it. Hang on. Oh. Alerts. There we go. Alright. Fire says... Did our taxes yesterday, and we didn't owe anything! That is awesome! I'm so happy for you. And I got a new mattress being delivered Thursday. Ooh! Grown-up excitement. Uh, let's do... Let's just do the one for now. And Sapphire has watched three consecutive streams and sparked a watch streak. <laughs> nice. Glad people are having fun with the streaks and stuff. Okay, hang on. I need to find these. Ooh. Yep, it's time for a new one. And... I mean, I'm just saying, like, the area and stuff that I grew up in, that's a very normal age for a mattress. But, yes, time for a new one. The springs have given out in the middle. Oh, no! Um... Ooh, this looks familiar. I think this one is... Oh, oh. Okay. Like, if there's a trough in the middle of the bed, it's time for a new one. Ooh. Getting an all-foam one. There we go. There we go. Uh, it sounds right. Yes? Hang on. I'm gonna check. Yeah, banana we got. Ooh, green leaves that are red underneath. Come here. Okay. Alright, so this has to be the flower thing. N A U E A. Okay. 
we had like our Friday and Saturday were crazy busy and then we wound up canceling or rescheduling everything on Sunday because um, Luke was feeling sick and I had a migraine. It's like, well, I guess we maxed out how much we can be busy. <laughs> Turtle. This looks like it might be kind of fun. Yeah, this thing. It's, um, rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, we, I think we both hit that point of if you do not take a day off, um, your body will take a day off for you. Player. My computer. Beat me. This is very silly. Like, I don't know why it's got this card. Player. Computer. <sighs> got me again. Player. Computer. Okay. Okay. Does it do the same pattern? Player. Computer. Oof. Okay, hang on. Player. Did. Yeah, I don't know. Computer. Womp womp. Okay. All right. So I think we know the plants. And we need to call the guy who might be a thief. The person you have called is not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Hey, Johnny. You don't know me, but you know my brother. He's the one you slugged when you were at Big Island Mike's? I know what you two have been up to, so if you're smart, you'll give me a call. 280-555-7263. I have never been that confident leaving a voicemail message in my entire life. Wait, what? says, can you imagine getting a call saying, you don't know me, but you slugged my brother. Yeah. I'd be like, oh man, I don't think I'm going to have to move. Sapphire says the Harding boy, Hardy boys trying to sound tough makes me laugh. Honestly, that freaked me out a little bit. Like, he's sounding y'all tough, but he is a child. He is a child! Like, dude! But what if he calls your bluff? You're gonna get your tail whipped! <laughs> says, he's just a baby! He is! He's just a baby! That's done. Like, cause Nancy in these is 19. And Frank is slightly older than Joe. So he's probably like 19 or 20. Like, he's not even old enough to drink. Like, he's a baby. I can check this one off. Not done with that yet. All right. We do have the names of those plants now, so we can call Nancy back and figure out the brass jar thing. I think. Hello? Hey, Nancy, it's Frank. Hi, were you able to dig up any info on plants? You betcha. Great, let's hear it. Well... The Puhala tree is about 30 feet tall with long leaves and support roots. The Hala Pepe tree has smooth gray bark and long skinny leaves. 
The Aali'i plant has small green leaves and distinctive purple clusters. The Koa tree is very tall with sickle-shaped leaves. The Wheelie Wheelie tree drops its leaves, then blooms in the summer. Now Paka is a shrub with white flowers that look like they've been torn in half. The Kalu'i is a shrub with fuzzy oval-shaped leaves. The banana plant has huge leaves and bears, ta-da, bananas. The candlenut tree is bushy with clusters of tiny white flowers that develop into green nut-like jobs. And myconia, jobs. Ooh, oh. is an extremely invasive tree with big leaves that are green on top and purple on the bottom and have three veins. Okay, anything else you want to know? Uh, no. Not right now. Good. How about I talk to you later? Deal. Oh my gosh, he's such a nerd. I love it. Yes, we did get a new lens. Okay. It's a good thing Nancy writes stuff down. It's been way too long. Check. <laughs> Need to figure out all that stuff. I like never get the brass thing on the first try. That just does not happen for me. Check. This is where the lens goes. Looks like this has okay. a built in scale. I can use that little built-in scale to weigh the brass. Okay. Um. All right. Move and sort seeds and insect parts. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's like an insect part that I always think is a seed or a seed I always think is an insect part. It might be this thing. And that might be what throws off my calculations. Okay. So. Which of these? Hang on. So red, I'm pretty sure it's my conia. Blue, we know, is banana. Purple, I think, is koa. Sounds familiar. Green was one of the ones at um, Tapu Cave. Orange was the other one at Kapu Cave. And yellow. Oh, okay. okay. So let me basically make my own little copy of this here. So red, blue, purple, green. Orange, yellow, and run across this way. Grass, weight, number of seeds, and then I'm going to just do. Um, the insect parts so that I can figure out the detritus predominance thing. Okay, let's start with red since that's at the top. Okay, pretty sure that's a seed. A lot of seeds. Hey, Boomer. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your lurk. All right. I think this is a bug part. It kind of looks like a frog, though. Okay. 
So, grass weight, 99. Yes. Number of seeds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Bug parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ask, sorry to interrupt my lurk, but is this Nancy Drew meets a little to the left? Sort of. Do blue next. We are sorting um, seeds, bug parts, and insect droppings in Hawaii, though, so it's fun and relaxing. Nancy to the left. Oh. Right. Me, I keep meaning to buy a little to the left, but I'm wanting to get it on Switch, and I don't use my Switch often, so I keep forgetting. Hang on, that goes in this category. Okay, so blue weight is 108. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bug parts. All right. Next one is purple. Alright. This one has a lot of bug parts in it. <laughs> so it's just a hop to the left and a step to the right, 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 right. I keep thinking shake it to the left, shake it to the right, do the hippie shake shake with all of your might. Time warp again. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? I do not trust myself to count on camera. Like, I am really weirding myself out with this. It's like, am I sure that was six? Maybe I did it wrong. I'll bet I missed one. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I haven't been writing down the number. So I'm pretty sure pretty sure I need that, don't I? Hang on. Yep. All right. Sort that again real quick. Won't take as long because all I need is to know is the number of squiggles. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I believe. I believe. Okay. Then blue. Take these out of the way. I can make sure I'm not missing any. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think. I think that's ten. I'm scared because I'm writing all of this in pen. If I get it wrong, I'll have to buy liquid paper. I don't know if anybody even sells that anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think that's eleven again. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Okay. Now on to the next one. Green. Yes. Green. Okay. So little. Alright. So green is 44. And there are four of these little things. Hello, Rikush. Thank you. Thank you for saying hi, and I really appreciate the hydrate. I was needing it. I hope you sleep very well. A number of seeds, three. A number of bug parts, five. Ooh, finally installed the mosquito net. Awesome. That sounds like it'll be a big help. That weird one. More seats. Okay. Orange. Wait. Thirty seven. Number three. Number of seats one, two, three, four, five. And four bug parts. And then yellow. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in that. Okay. Um. This is good, good. Go there, go here. Here. Okay. Yep, that should be all of them. So weight is one fifty. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think number of seeds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number of bug parts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hang on, three, four, five, six. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Whoop. Why on earth did I write 19? See, I'm gonna have to get my uh, liquid paper. Okay. So... Wait. 99. Number of seeds. 12. Then, okay, 
It is mostly seeds. Then frost and insect parts, so 405, I think. 405. And blue, wait, 108. Number of seeds, 8. And dominance and is bug parts. Grass seeds. That is 505. And then purple. Weight 119. Number of seeds. Nine. And purple. Grass bug cart seeds. 105? Yes, 105. Okay. Green. 44. And number of seeds, 3. This one is bug parts, then frost, then seeds. So that's 505 again, right? Okay, 505. Whoop. Not helpful. Okay. Orange, 37. Seeds, 5. And this one is Seeds, Bug Parts, Frass, 305. Watch. Something will be wrong. I will get something wrong. I do every time. 150. Number of seeds, 9. This one is Frass, then Bug Parts, then Seeds. Yeah? Yeah. So it's 105 again. All right. I can't go anywhere. I haven't inserted the clipboard into that formula machine thing yet. Wonder what this thing does. You literally need to use it. Why are you wondering? Okay. 119,456. All right. Yep, something's wrong. That is definitely not the right number. But we have to go and have her tell us that it's wrong. Don't tell me. Okay, tell me. Well, the number your formula machine came up with was 119,456. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, 
It really is true. I've stumbled upon the biggest bloom of Norsa Beta larva ever recorded. We're going to be famous, Nancy, and with any luck, rich as heck. Way to go! Thank you. I just wish I knew what you were talking about. You just confirmed that for some reason, the Norsa Beta odorata in this area, maybe on the whole island, are reproducing at an unheard of rate. Well, I wasn't expecting to actually get it right. Hmm. Okay. Um... <laughs> asks, by any chance, do you have earplugs? I could use some. Yeah, her voice is, um, distinctive. Probably carries well. Do I need to, like, turn the game volume down or anything? What are Norso Beta Odorata? It's a kind of moth. And to have it suddenly be producing ten times more larvae than usual? It's huge! Nothing like this has ever happened before, anywhere! It's as if you woke up one morning and found a thousand baby robins in your front yard. It just doesn't happen. Okay, you've confirmed what is happening. Now we need to figure out why it's happening. You need to analyze the contents of those frast jars. The notes on my clipboard will tell you how to go about it. We need to know what all those Norsa Beta caterpillars have been eating. Uh, you mean the stuff in those jars is, I mean, came from caterpillars? Of course, they're frass jars. But before you start your analysis, you need to get a sample of whatever it is that Malachi Craven is secretly growing up there at the Healy Healy. Ooh. Even if it means sneaking in. See if that's what those caterpillars have been eating. Something hmm. big's going on here, Nancy. Let's make history and find out what. <laughs> All right. Um. All of the directions on the clipboard. Okay. Analyze samples. So now we need to go rogue and sneak in. This is what an exit. I hope someday I can end a conversation by pressing a button on a hydraulic lift and flying away. Right? Just get out of here, kid. You're bothering me. Zoop! need to get a sample of whatever it is he's secretly growing out there. Okay, I'm scared. State your business. Oh, it's you. What is it now? It's been wonderful talking to you. Good luck entomologizing. Done. Done. Check. Check. Did that. Done. Okay. Did that. Dr. Craven? Yes. He's sound asleep. He must have decided to take that antihistamine after all. 
Perfect. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is a page that was torn off Quigley's clipboard, mm. which means the person who trashed her camp must have been Dr. Craven? Hmm. <laughs> May cause drowsiness. No kidding. Uh oh. How do I turn this thing off? Um, looks like Mega Mind. Okay, let's see. The name of the guy Dr. Craven fired was Spiderman or something. Okay, volume. Mute. That's better. Alright. Here we go. Fighterman, number 14-667-93. Okay, hang on. 14-667-93. Looks <laughs> probably sleepy from fighting Spider-Man. All right. Looks like employee number 14-667-93, otherwise known as Fighterman, was assigned to locker 13. The combination is R4L2L7R9. Mm -hmm. Read slower, Nancy. Locker 13. R4... L two L seven. Let's not be L seven. Come and learn to dance, wooly bully, wooly bully. Okay. Spiderman, one of Spiderman's more ill-advised aliases. Oh my gosh. And thank you, Sapphire. Even turn the sound back on, that he won't know anything's different. Alright, 13. So R4. Whoops. Okay, R4. L2. Not 7. It is the vault colors. Welcome to Vault Tech. Craven seems like um, he could be uh, one of the people who leads to Vault Tech. This should keep those men in yellow off my back. Okay. This part always takes way too many tries. I'm stressed. Uh. I think I save game. Like, this part stresses me out so much. Like, I just want to go back to the beach and look for shells, and this is why I, like, never finish the game. I have finished it before, but mostly I just look for shells. But yeah, Craven has vault tech vibes. I need a map. There's about a jillion plants in here. How am I supposed to know which one to take a sample from? Okay. <laughs> Employee of the month. 12 year old. Their computer has feet. Maybe this will help me figure out what plan I'm looking for. Ooh. 
Oh, employee number. Six, six, seven, nine, three? Yes. Shipping. Yeah. Let's see what this place has been sending to whom lately. Okay. Richard Aikens at Aikens hmm. Biotech? That's who hired Frank and Joe Hardy to check out the models. FERC 21 was extracted from an unexpected but fortuitous mutation. Which I've managed to successfully propagate. Have it tested immediately because I do believe this is the one mutation, huh? Hmm. Something tells me that's the plant I need to get a sample from. Okay, FERC 21. Hmm, looks like a list of substances and the names of the beds containing the plants they came from. Yes, it says here that FERC 21 was extracted from the plants in bed HH3333. And according to that note from Dr. Craven, those plants are apparently mutants. Hey. Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> Looks like I'm going to have to stay out of sight from here on out. Dewey Fighterman. Okay. Okay, little plant. This won't hurt a bit. Right, I think it's right there. Boop. You! Whoops! Stop. Get him! That's the guy who Almost. brings security! I'll write you! Hold him right there! Oops. Almost made it. Second chance. This part stresses me out. Waverly here. Haven't seen anything or anyone unusual. Over. You! Stop! Get him! That's the guy who breaks security! How do Hold I it right there, him? pal! You're not going anywhere! Oops. Still no sign of the intruder. Over. Waverly here. Haven't seen anything uh, or anyone unusual. Darth Vader Over. vibes. Yes. Specifically, my name is Darth Vader. Hey, you! I come from Stop. the planet Stop. Vulcan. He's that imposter. Hold it right there, pal. Oh, no. You're not going anywhere. He thinks I'm, I'm sus. Blessed. I think he's sus. So there. We're still patrolling, but nobody's seen anything. Over. Mm. Waverly here. Okay. Haven't seen anything or anyone unusual. Over. Yep, my name is Darth Vader. I come from the planet Vulcan. Okay. So let's get out of here. Morask, is this the X-Files episode where Mulder and Scully find the bees? I don't know if I remember that one. I was way too young for X-Files when I started watching X-Files and like I watched too much of it. There's that weird whispering again. Once I stopped, I had to not go back. Hmm. Hey. Pretty blue. This? Uh-oh. The color of the leaf sample from the Healy Healy doesn't match the color of the frass sample. Uh, I guess I better go tell Quigley. Okay. They turn such pretty colors. They make me think of nail polish.
back too quickly. have been eating is not what Dr. Craven's been growing at the Healy Healy. The samples didn't match? No. What should I do now? Okay, listen up. Open my pack down there, take out the container of canopy samples I've collected, and see if one of them matches the frass sample. Got that? Got it. Okay. All right, nothing else for us to snoop through. That's sad. We go again. It's such a long walk to get to her. Okay. Back to camp. Alright. I don't need to analyze that. You didn't click on anything. Definitely not blue. Very pretty, though. Ooh. That doesn't match. But it's pretty. Not a match. Okay, I think this is it. So I'm going to do all of the others first, just so I can see what the colors are. Will one of them be purple? Not a match. That one's not pretty. That's the only one so far that hasn't been pretty. Ooh. That doesn't match. Okay, none of them are purple. It's very sad. A match. So, looks like those caterpillars have been eating fritillated flag beetles. Whatever they are. Okay. Hey. All right. So, how quickly that? Done. Done. Oh yeah, and I need to call Frank and tell him that there's a Did connection that. between our cases. Check. Check. Did that. Done. Okay. Check. Can't check that off yet. Alright. Okay. Back to quickly again. Going back and forth. All day. All night. All night. All every night. Okay. And the long walk through forest camp. Forest, jungle, whatever it is. Okay. Yoo-hoo! Quigley! Hey. Have you got something? Well, it looks to me like those caterpillars have been eating nothing but fritillated flag beetles? Fritillated flag beetles? No. No, that's not possible. I've never even heard of a fritillated flag beetle. The fritillated flag beetle is a relatively minor species in this area. But if your analysis is correct, that means they're multiplying at an even greater rate than the Norsebana are. The question is, why? Fame and fortune just got put on hold, Nancy. We can't go public with this until I figure out what the heck is going on. Where are you going? Up. I do my best thinking when my feet aren't touching the ground. Don't ask me why. 
I've carried you long enough, Nancy. You're on your own. Oh, wait a sec. I know what you can do. There's a metal ring inside my pack. I found it at Kapu Cave when I was setting out frog traps. Maybe you can figure out what it's for. Darn things got me stumped. Okay, I'll check it out. Okay. Well, does the best thinking when her feet aren't touching the ground. I mean, to be fair, same. <sighs> I'm just gonna go back to camp quickly for now because I need to call. Frank and tell him what I found out. All right. Done. And that'll give me more information to work with, too. Check. Okay. Is that everything? Yes. All right. So. Call Frank and Joe. Hello? Hi Frank, me again. Sup? Nothing much. Mostly I just wanted to say hi. Glad you called. Talk to you soon, okay? You had it written down that you needed to call him and tell him about the Aiken's biotech guy. Excuse you. Um... Well, fine. We'll go look for shells for a minute. Okay. See if we get a call back from the thief. need more of those. I have like 40 of them. Don't need more of those. But I do have enough Big Island bucks that I can make a couple of necklaces. I believe. Necklaces. I don't know if I call him the thief guy again, maybe? Um, let me see what have I made. Okay. Oh, alright. I have a couple of those. I probably won't sell any more necklaces. I'll just try to, like, have them all collected. So... Do one of these so that we can have it for the collection. Alright. This makes me want to make shells. See, I have 45! 45 of them! That's ridiculous! Okay. Um... These... Kills me. Thank you. 
That looks right. Okay. Oh yeah. I like never find shark teeth. Ever. I think I've maybe found one in all the time I've played this game. I'm missing the shark teeth one and dancing lizard maybe? Whatever it is. Yeah, dancing lizard. So yeah, I need more of that. Okay. Alright, posture check. Thank you. All. Five. And forty six. Forty seven, forty eight. That their shell distribution numbers are off. I just want to make sure the shark tooth isn't something I have to buy. <laughs> no. How do you shark do that? I really think, like, I've been playing this game over and over again for years, mostly focusing on shell hunting, and I think I've maybe found one shark tooth. It's ridiculous, is what it is. And that's giving me fewer shells overall. Is it trying to make me stop? Can't stop, won't stop. Hee <laughs> hee! Hello, Roy. Welcome, welcome. You're right. If I could just find a shark, then I'd find a whole bunch of shark teeth. Hey, what's going on? Guess I'll get out of your hair. Have fun. Yeah, I'm not selling those necklaces. I've got too good of a collection going on right now. Could get myself some shave ice. Do cherry, watermelon, and lime. Feeny. That hit the spot. <laughs> that hit the spot. Well, that's definitely putting me past 50. 51. Alright. Well, how's everyone else's weekend? We spent a lot of it driving. Part of it driving through something I'm allergic to, so yesterday was a little rough. Get the shark some nice dentures. Here, I'll trade ya. Any bait left. I'm 
out of bait. Okay. And I don't think that was enough for the shots to reset. Although these did. Ugh, that thing again. Oh gosh, okay, Luke says you could get the shark some nice dentures. He might have a harder time hunting, but he'd never have to worry, worry about biting his tongue again. Gosh. Um. Oops. Keep going past this first one. Golly! <laughs> no, there's too many of that one. I need more of the sort of ivory-ish ones. And the scallop shells. Like, those are really rare and then the shark teeth just kind of don't exist. And it's ridiculous. Yeah, I have 55 of the zebra shells or whatever. If I could buy the missing ones, then I would. But no. Um. So. Those two. Alright. This one. Alright. There. Not bad. Okay. some more bait. Sure. That way I can use fish to support my shell addiction. Okay, we finally found one of the scallop shells. But I really need more of the, like, long white ones. Keep finding the little ones. That's not what I need. Do I actually need to do this to finish the game? No. Completely unnecessary. But also, he left a message and hasn't gotten a call back. And Nancy didn't tell him her information. I'm upset about that. I think Nancy has it in her to-do list to call the Hardy Boys and tell them that their boss might be corrupt. And she didn't tell them, which means I can't check it off the list. She'll just say, I haven't done that yet, or still need to do that. I won't get that satisfying check. She didn't tell him. I got one. Ooh, nice. Those ones are good money. Alright. I got one. Hey, we got one of each. 
Battleshell. Oh, finally! I can do the Dancing Wizard one now. Okay. I swear, I've got like 60 of those zebra shells at this point. That's ridiculous. There's no way to mod Nancy Drew games, right? I just want to tweak the shell statistics a little bit. Oh yeah, need to sell her Hey, fish. what's going on? Got you some more fish. Let's see. Looking good. There you go. Okay, what else? Guess I'll get out of your hair. Have fun. Okay. Let's see. If I can do this one. Because, hang on. Pretty sure that's the only one I don't have. Besides the shark tooth one that you just can't make. This does make me want to craft something. I'm not picky. I craft lots of things. Finished. Okay. But that's everything except the shark tooth. Yeah. I just can't find a shark tooth. Sad. Okay, I'm going to home for shells and then I'm gonna call that guy back and see if he answers. If he doesn't, call Nancy and we'll flip flop back and forth and see if she can actually tell him that we found out his boss might be corrupt. Recognize a shark tooth if I saw one? Probably not. Okay. Hmm. Just realized, I think the, um, the screen is off on the stream. Like, it's still square, but it should be a rectangle now? I'm not sure how to fix that. Hmm. Okay, that's probably been making everyone look really weird. Well, yeah, but it would make everything, like, stretched out. Hello? Hey, Nancy. Hey, Frank. What's going on? You know me. Busy, busy, busy. Doing what? Well... And there you have it. Oh, and I also saved the whales and brought about world peace. Darn it. I was gonna do world peace. Sorry. You have to do bug stuff. See ya, Frank. Yeah, I think it's off. Uh-oh. Alright, now let's see if he'll... If she'll tell him about it. Hello? Hi, Frank. It's Nancy. What's going on? Oh, stuff. How about you? Just calling to say hey. Back at ya. Bye! Oh. <clears throat> oh. Well, that's frustrating. Alright. 
So let me check out this map thing. Yeah, I I am just now realizing that it looks weird on the stream. And I don't think I can fix it without showing everyone OBS. Yeah. Which probably still won't work. No, not you. You. Hang on. What does that look like? All of infinite princesses. Ah! Uh, not great. Hang on. It's like... I wonder why it's like that. Yeah, that's odd. Well, that'll give me something to fiddle with for the rest of the evening. Pay no mind to the millions of princesses behind the curtain. Exactly. Alright. It has... Eel... Shark? Look out, he's got the shark! Turtle... Octopus. And then fish. Crab. Urchin. And then like a stingray. Okay. Boomer says, oh look, a bunch of shark's teeth. And they're in a neat oval shape. Uh-oh. Oh gosh. Alright. I'm gonna save my game again, actually. Just being weird. Okay, well... Only thing left on... Frank's to-do list is... I mean, because I already tried calling that guy. And I didn't get a call back. Oh, thank you. Found another of those, but we can't do anything with those without more of those white ones. Thank you. Alright, have a good evening, Boomer. Thanks for visiting. Because, yeah, it should not look like this. Hang on. I'm gonna try one last thing. Well, that's tiny. And still square instead of rectangle, so that's no help. All right. Fine. Did my best. Whoa! That eel means business. So much for following that current chart. Not with that eel there. Okay. What else is Frank supposed to do? <laughs> that eel means business. <laughs> it says, business eel, file my spreadsheets. Oh, not that kind of business. Whoops. Okay. Let's call Nancy back. Oh no. Hello? Hey, it's Frank. 
What's going on there? Still plugging away. How about you? Me too. Just thought I'd give you a call. Glad you did. Talk to you later. See ya. Weird. Seriously, she has a note. Right? Call Frank and Joe and tell them they have something in common with Dr. Craven. They all work for Richard Aiken's Bacon's Biotech. But, or not, I guess. Alright. It's gonna be one of those where we get to the end of the game without, like, finishing the game. Business eel works hard, but his lack of fingers keeps him from getting much done in the office. Oh gosh. ring of course okay his teeth unlocked I can move his teeth now that sounds really creepy hmm There we go. It opened. I'd better call and tell Frank. He You're means like, see you later. Joe Hardy and or Frank Hardy. Only we're not available. Mm -hmm. At the tone, please leave a message. Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, remember that creepy face that had been carved into a wall? The one with all the pictures on his teeth? Well, thanks to that list of animals you gave me, the face opened up. And I'm about to explore whatever's behind it. I don't know if or how this helps you, but I just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, I'm going in, so wish me luck. Mm, right, this trumpet says, been lurking, but saw Boomer say, say, C-Y-A. Is that like, see you later? Or are you using the acronym? And if the latter, what did you do, princess? Luke says, what is the alternative? And is making guesses about what CYA stands for. Call your adults. Honestly, very close. Like, kind of the same concept, yes. Alright, well, we're heading into the end game and didn't get to... Like, she just never did the Phew, thing. I feel like I'm in a sauna. So, call your attorney. Yeah, there's that option too. That's lava. No wonder it's so hot in here. Hope you got fireproof shoes, Nance. Touch nothing but the lamp. Yes. So yeah, why does she have a note to tell Frank and Joe this thing that she can never tell them? And also, um, Frank had notes to talk to people that he couldn't talk to. Oh, weird. Hmm. 
Hang on. There might be another tunnel. Ah, okay, so that's where the sound of the wind is coming from. Alright. Well, I heard water. And wind. Fire. And rocks. A weird ah! turtle. Hmm. Oh, the lever, Croc! Gonna go around. Yeah. I I know walk over. Weird old bridge. I wonder if these pictures tell some kind of story. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Like this one. And this one. Okay. Yeah, because you can watch the uh, the tree growing and then getting taken out by the volcano. Okay. Why do we even have that lever? Oh dear. Whoops. Okay, second chance. I wonder if these pictures tell some kind of story. Fairly certain that I was correct. But I need to get out of the way faster. Okay. Oh, there we go. Why do we have that lever? That's what I want to know. Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, remember that creepy face that had been carved into a wall? The one with all the pictures on his teeth? Well, thanks to that list of animals you gave me, the face opened up. And I'm about to explore whatever's behind it. I don't know if or how this helps you, but I just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, I'm going in, so wish me luck. Hmm. If the pictures on that old current chart helped her, maybe whatever she just did to open up that face will somehow help me. I'm still mad that we can't actually solve everything. Wait. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Yes. You flip back and forth between Nancy and Frank Hardy. Except I think they might have messed up some of the uh, game programming. So... There's some stuff on the to-do list that will never get checked off. It's, I'm heading into the end game. No, so haha, <laughs> we started out playing as Joe, but he got clobbered and is in the hospital with a concussion. And we're supposed to be figuring out who clobbered him, but we can't get a call back. gone and that wasn't there before Nancy did help me okay. well, we never found a shark tooth sad okay eel Whoa. shark turtle Whoa. told me about must be in there oh well can't get back out that way so up we go Yep. 
Uh, oh, I hate this. Holy cow, those things are covered with tiny beetles. Man, whatever's inside those canisters, those beetles are going for it. Big time. Frank, what are you doing here? I, uh, Skip well, like Kua sent me. She gave me a map. What is all this? A huge, terrible mistake, that's what it is. I've made Pele mad. Dad? How did you get in here? I finally found a lava tube that bypasses lava? the main tunnel. Lava what? tube. You followed me? I had to find another way in here. So I let you figure out that chart, and then yes, I followed you. It's over, Pua. I'm dumping those things right now. Dad, no! We're in too deep. We've got to go through with it now. Wait a minute. You're in this, whatever it is, together? If and when the Healy Healy Center shuts down, the land it's on reverts to us. Land we could turn right around and sell to developers. So I used Johnny Kudo to steal us some chemicals that would make insects start destroying the pineapples. And made it sound like Kane Okala was back to keep people out of the jungle so they wouldn't see us spraying. And then we spread the rumor that whatever was killing the pineapples was the Healy Healy's fault. My father owes a lot of money to some really bad people. That's why we did it. And if you could just not tell anyone about this, everything will be fine. No, Pua. Pele destroyed the tunnel for a reason. She was telling us to stop. No, Pua. Pele destroyed the tunnel for a reason. She was telling us to stop. It's Frank. No, Pua. It's over. The earthquake was a warning. This isn't right, and if we don't stop next, she'll destroy us. You see? You see? Very bad puzzle. Frank, are you alright? Hey, Nance. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm okay. Be kind of nice to get back on solid ground, though. Any ideas? Jump from rock to rock and head for the stairs in front of you. The ones behind Big Island Mike. But be careful. A rock that's there one minute may not be there the next. Oh, boy. Oh, I hate this puzzle. Keep. Oh, I don't like how it rearranges me. Yes? Okay. Oh man, I've never been so glad to see solid ground in my life. Nice work, Nan. Tell that to them. All the time we spent on this thing wasted. I should have just gone surfing. And I should have just gone with you. Big Island Mike and Pua finally made it to safety, and all of us managed to get out of the cave using the lava tube that Mike had discovered. Much to their credit, he and Pua turned themselves in immediately. Although it took a while for the authorities to figure out exactly what to charge them with. As for what they had done, here's how Big Island Mike explained it. Desperate to pay off the loan sharks to whom he owed a lot of money, Big Island Mike remembered something. The land that Healy Healy Research Facility was on used to belong to his aunt. She willed it to the foundation that built the facility with the stipulation that the land would go to Mike if and when the Healy Healy ever closed its doors. And so he set out to force the Healy Healy out of business, knowing that once the land was his, he could sell it and pay off all his debts. First, capitalizing on what he knew about pineapples. He used to work for a pineapple grower. Big Island Mike hired Johnny Kudo to steal canisters of pheromones for him. He knew that when sprayed in the jungle, these pheromones would cause an explosion in the population of the tiny and normally benign fritillated flag beetle. To lower their risk of being seen, 
The Mapu spread the rumor that Kane Okala was once again prowling the island. Then they sprayed the chemicals, and soon fritillated flag beetles were everywhere. <laughs> Dr. Kim finally figured out that the weird whispering noise I had heard was the beetles rubbing their little legs together in some kind of greeting ritual. Soon, the beetle larvae, which are practically microscopic, started feeding on the local pineapples. And when it became apparent that something strange was going on with the pineapple crop, the Mapus began circulating the rumor that the Healy Healy was to blame. And their plan almost worked. The rumor made one of the Healy Healy's current owners, Richard Aiken, so nervous that he hired the Hardy Boys to dig up something, anything that he could use to discredit the Mapus and shut them up. And if word had gotten out that Malachi Craven, who it turns out is the one who tore Dr. Kim's camp up in a fit of anger mismanagement, was working with plant mutations, public pressure may have indeed caused the Healy Healy to close its doors. But thanks to Frank and Joe and Dr. Kim and yours truly, the Mapu's plot was exposed, and the fritillated flag beetle population quickly fell to its normal size, as did that of the Norso Beta Odorata moth. So, how did I spend the rest of my time on the Big Island? Well, let's just say when it comes to cleaning frass jars, I am an expert. Fuxus, and I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you fritillating flag beetles. <laughs> Wait, shell shocked for collecting at least one of every type of shell. Yeah, except for the shark tooth. <sighs> Fine. Bad things have been happening hmm. to the guests at Icicle Creek Lodge. They come for winter fun, like ice skating, cross-country skiing, and snowshoeing. But some leave, fearing for their lives. Of course, the lodge is located deep in the wilds of the Canadian Rockies. And it is the dead of an unusually cold, snowy winter. But is the lodge simply unlucky? Is it the target of some mysterious curse? Or is someone behind these strange events? Or does it have something to do with the elusive wolf that haunts the surrounding hills? howling before each new disaster. Help me find out in my next adventure, The White Wolf of Icicle Creek. Hmm, maybe by the time we stream that one, I'll have figured out how to fix the um, display issue and it will actually look like it's supposed to. Because yeah, everything's weirdly tall and skinny on the stream. And I simply had not noticed. From Hawaii to ice, quite the difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, they keep up a good, um, variety. Oh. This is interesting. This has always been one of my favorites of the games. Playing it now... I feel like... There are some issues in the game design that I hadn't noticed previously. Like, I was just way too caught up in the shell hunting. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Luke, how are you holding up? Because we're a little bit shy of the two hour mark. So I could switch over to Enigmatis and we could finish that since we were like right up to the end. Just finish two mysteries in a row. Ooh, Luke says I tried to find info on the unfinished quest. And according to the wiki, there are rumors the game was rushed in favor of the next one. That would also explain the Hardy Boys' faces. All right. Mysteries Monday. Enigmatis, Ghosts of Maple Creek. That, um... Last week, whenever I played most of a hidden object game on stream and got, like, right up to the end and then didn't finish 
So we can finish that. We'll finish two mysteries in a row. Dude, I'm not kidding. I have not had time to play BG3. In I'm not sure how long. Over a week. Like, it's, mmm. Like, I'm hoping to get to play some, but I haven't. Like, yeah, it has been absolutely tragic. I'm going to put up the Be Right Back screen. I'm gonna take like a five minute break. I'm gonna switch games and then we'll finish up Enigmatis and we can do some more chatting and whatnot. But yeah, I will be right back. Alright, hang on.
Does it work? There we go. Okay. So, if they really did rush Kapu Cave, um, in favor of White Wolf of Icicle Creek, then that's extra tragic to me because, um, <clears throat> White Wolf of Icicle Creek is one of my least favorites in the series. Well, in the series when they were still, like, halfway decent. Yeah, that's... that's disappointing, though. Like, I love the... uh, shell hunting. But... like, the more I play it, the more I realize that the shell spawn ratios are way, way off. So that's frustrating. I really love being able to assemble the shells into necklaces. Like that crafting mechanic is very satisfying. But too many things on the to-do list that you cannot check off for no reason. Like, that's tragic. So, you know, very early in the stream, we talked a little bit about Murder, She Wrote. And... There was an episode... Oh, I cannot remember the name of it. Something like Virtual Murder or something. And in that one, the murder mystery was happening amongst a game development team that had been working on a virtual reality game. Um, the, the technology was primitive, shall we say. But I liked the episode as a kid. And one of the things that the characters said as, like, some of them are adding things to the game, and some of them are playtesting the things being added to the game, was one of the programmers had added a door that could not be opened. Like, at all. And he was told to either remove the door or add a key. Like, make it so that they- so that it could be opened at some point in the game because, quote, locked doors are unfair to the player. And I was probably like seven or something watching that. And that really stuck with me. Locked doors are unfair to player. If you have a door that's locked, there better be a way to open it at some point. It's stuck with me for games, for books. If you ask the question, you better answer it. It's not fair to the player. Oh, uh, and garage and Chekhov's door. Yes. If the door is locked, then at some point in the game, it must open. So, when they have things on Nancy's to-do list that you can never check off, 
That bothers me. And he left his cabin open. Lucky day. Wait. Like, I love having the to-do list. It's very satisfying to check things off. Like, that adds something to my experience as a player. If I can't check things off, then it makes for a frustrating experience as a player. Emily, is this the girl Detective Hamilton was looking for? Seventy six. Right. I don't have a handle for that. Speaking of doors, there's a door which must be opened. <laughs> chamber. Me. Um, hmm. Yeah, I was really thinking that Kapu Cave was going to rank very high on my list since it's always been one of my favorites. I'm very disappointed. It's going to be getting knocked quite a few spaces down on the list because it's uncompletable. I noticed too, like, there's more... I felt like there was more explanation at the end. Usually there's, like, Nancy's final wrap-up is a lot more like what everyone does after the mystery. Like it fills in the last couple of missing pieces of the mystery and then it updates us on everyone. And this was almost entirely just why the mystery happened kind of thing. Like we didn't find we didn't find out as much of the motive and stuff through gameplay, and so there was a lot more that had to be explained at the end. I could be wrong, but that's how I felt. That's just how I feel about it. What do you think? Sapphire says I have to head out, but your stream has helped me clean. Awesome! I will feel vicarious accomplishment. So, have a great evening, Sapphire. Alright, where is the clock? I just finished this game, like, a week and a half ago. I should still remember where everything is. Oh, thank you. Posture check, probably smart too. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, there it is. All right. And four. Oh, I just saw the dog somewhere. Uh, oh, I know where the key is. Okay. Um,. Ah, there we go. On a vestment. Okay. Ah. 
sweet. And let's double check the map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This place is all there. Okay. Graveyard. Um, perfect. We found a piece of a thing. The hidden object game. You find pieces of things a lot. Anything useful has to be assembled. Strangers Hamilton and Emily, the girl he was looking for, was his girlfriend. We need to search through his stuff. Okay. Mm. Okay. Go. Frame scene. Sinister ritual setting. Okay. Okay, nice. Yeah, I love the like murder board in this. This is really helpful for me and also makes me rethink how I outline. Okay. This way. Nothing <laughs> beats a good murder board. Exactly. All girls really want is an excuse to cover a wall with scraps of paper and pictures and connect them with pieces of red string. The ultimate dream. I keep saying that I can do something in here and I'm pretty sure I can't. Wait. Okay. The map really thinks I can do something here. I haven't found anything I can do here yet. Is that what it thought I could do? Oh my gosh, that's all. It, that's what it thought I could do this whole time. Good grief. Okay. Sure, that's just the yeah hidden object stuff again. All right, um, that's the main thing we need. There it is. All right, um, lanterns, king's orb. Okay. Better. There we go. I did remember where those were. Helmet. This. 
Are you supposed to find both? Mm. No, that's a scepter, I think. Alright, and then back to the cabin. We need to search his stuff because we can't just leave the poor sad man alone. Alright. handle. That's what we need for this one. Okay. Um, oh no. Oh, shovel. That I can find. Ah, there it is. And this onion. But not that. Okay. Chestnuts are fine tea. Hmm. Oh, there's the chestnuts. So olive and tea. There's the tea. Not olive oil. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, the painting of olives. Suitable for a Tuscan kitchen. Ooh. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Slow and steady. Time, detective. That wacko locked me up when he realized I'd uncovered his secret. You got that bag with the files, right? They're all his. Richard Hamilton's. He's been living here for all these years, spying on that preacher. We all thought he was just some quirky hermit. Looks like we've been had. I'm not sure what Hamilton's up to, but he's not gonna stop. The man's dangerous. And in the dressing wounds? But never mind. I found Kate. Thank goodness! Is she alright? Is she safe? Not yet. We have to get her out of town. I've got a car, but it's parked far away. I'll never make it. Then go to the gas station and find Kate. I'll get the car. It's on my farm. Here, take the keys and hurry. Hey. Okay. Here. Just to see it or something. Furnace. Ah, remember the date? Okay, uh, it was o two fourteen. 1976? Okay. Found in his house, what could it be? 
last piece we need. Thank you very much. Oh, wait. More hidden objects. Um. Hmm. Oh, BT dubs. I am almost caught up. Almost caught up on House Flipper. I've been pushing, trying to get it accomplished. Um, I really want to be able to get back to that. So I have one more house that's like, it's close to done, but the last few things that need done are tedious. So... Struggling a little bit with that. But it's the last one. So if I can just get that done, sell that off, then I need to go through all of my workshop content and unsubscribe from most of it because there's just too much it's it's too many options and too much to sort through and it's giving me decision paralysis so i need to limit my options by like a lot all right uh, let's back to Rift. Okay. Oh, um. Pip, how you doing? How did the stream go? I saw that you'd started on colors and I was so bummed that I was missing it. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes, I got these colors all done. I'm super excited to render. Oh. Like, I legitimately might have to just go back and rewatch part of, like, toward the end of it so that I can see how it's going, because, oh, it was looking so good. Alright, I need to... Okay. So... Okay, okay. Um... Yep, doing all right. Beat Nancy Drew, Creature of Kapu Cave. And I was surprised by how much my like, perspective has changed. Like, I caught more plot holes than last time. So, well. Oh. Um. One, three. Five, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah, like the vibes are immaculate. But then there's several things that are introduced that you can't finish. And that's unforgivable. <laughs> like that is very unfair to players. So Um, we are now finishing up a hidden object game called Enigmatis Ghosts, Ghosts of Maple Creek, which, as far as hidden object games go, is fantastic. Like, as with most, you are a detective, but in this one, you have a murder board. 
It's gone. It's stolen. Hamilton? Okay. You have a murder board. You start with just like one circle and then as you discover more parts of the mystery it adds more circles each themed around one of the elements of the mystery and as you find clues you have to sort them into their appropriate categories in order to solve that bit so super satisfying i love being able to see the clues take shape like that. It makes it feel much less on rails and linear, even though it is very tightly on rails. So like I like I'm obsessed with the murder board aspect. That's really cool. I haven't seen that in any other hidden object games. So, Trumpet says, doing all right, work is busy, checking out a new men's group tonight. Ooh! It's been a while since I was in a small group. Oh, I hope that goes really well for you. Groups are good. Well, good groups are good. Alright. Crash site, and then I need to make my way back that way. Alright. Oh, I just found that. And you have a croissant in your trunk. If I'm carrying an emergency croissant, it's not going to be in my trunk. says trunk croissants are the best croissants. Trunk croissants have pocket bacon energy. That's a no from me. Trunk croissants would be a great band name. That would be a terrible band name. It's way too hard to say. You try it. It does not go well. Alright. Only have... Okay. Let's go again. More hidden objects. Pip says, walking on the second story of the rundown building cannot be safe. Oh no, half of the building is collapsed and you're just wandering around. Like, well, at least this part's still standing. Mm hmm. For now? Um. But like hidden object games in general, everything is like very abandoned and run down. Trumpet says, surprise, this is another Bible game supposed to improve your prayer life. Oh gosh, that would be such a twist. Oh man. All right, there's... Somewhere in here there's a harmonic. There it is. There it is. Briefcase. Briefcase. Horseshoe. Crowbar. Padlock. Coffee grinder. Glasses. Lantern. And. Glove. There they are. Okay. Okay. Um. Can. Can. 
Objects. All right. Hmm. Ah, we're looking for bolts, I think. Okay. Um. All right. So, what's everyone else got planned? Trump is trying a new men's group this evening. I don't have anything nearly that exciting going on. What's everybody else doing? I've been working on laundry. Um. Bip says, I'm probably going to try and keep drawing. have a few projects I'm bopping around between. Ooh! That sounds fun. Really need to make time for drawing, but there's a lot of things I need to make time for, and I haven't had, um, any time to make, so... Yeah. Bip says, finished up work for the day, got some writing done, and now playing Stardew Valley. Planning to do a little more writing yet tonight. Ugh, doing writing sounds nice. I would need a little more energy than I currently have. Okay, ruler, fork, and a belt. Well, there's the belt. There's the fork. Oh, there's the ruler. Okay, sweet. It says, I feel that March and April are always so busy. Why? My marches were never busy, and then all of a sudden they're busy. It says I forced myself to do a writing prompt this weekend, and the only reason why I did was because of my keyboard. You just wanted to hear the clicking? Oh, maybe that's the problem. Maybe I need a new keyboard. It goes clack, clack, clack. It says yes, it was the only motivation I had. Oh my gosh, that's glorious. I love it. Oh. Trumpet says, honestly, I'm tired and I'd rather stay home, but I need to stop permitting. And I know it's just all around better for me to be in a small group. You'll have to let us know how it goes. Yes, not hermiting. Very good healthy to have human interaction. Luke says just hit the keys harder any he keyboard can clickety-clack if you try hard enough. Oh my gosh. You should hear her keyboard though, it's so pretty. Like, they're, like Mark's gonna have to start closing the basement door when they record again, otherwise we'll be able to hear her keyboard through his mic. <laughs> Pip says it shakes the whole house. <laughs> um, see, usually I get through these scenes really fast, but I'm having too much fun reading chat. Keep getting distracted. Oh, Luke says I got to the witch doctors in the mines. Oh. <laughs> ooh ee ooh ah ah ting tang walla walla bing bang. Ooh ee ooh ah ah ting tang walla walla bing bang. Speaking of, one of the things I'm looking for is a keyboard. I'm pretty sure it's the piano kind though. Sad. Um... Hey, chiller! Welcome back! Well, we're on a different game now. <laughs> um... 
He says a rodent. Yeah, I can't identify what kind of rodent that was. Right. Yeah, we finished Creature of Kapu Cave and are now finishing up um, Enigmatus, the Ghost of Maple Creek. Um, it depends on how much brain I have. See, in general, very much prefer Nancy Drew. I love Nancy Drew. Although, I do think that just comparing these specific games, I think Ghosts of Maple Creek has more solid game design than um, Creature of Kapu Cave. Like, for what it is. It's like... Um, hidden object games tend to be very kind of scripted, they're very tightly on rails, etc, etc, but like for its genre, it's phenomenal. Whereas I, I wound up being disappointed by my replay of Creature of Kapu Cave, I didn't feel like it was up to the standards of some of the other Nancy Drew games. Which is sad, because the vibes are great. Alright. I have to take care of this tree. Alright. Hey, get out of town. Take the car, Kate and drive the two of you away from Maple Creek as fast as you can. Don't stop until you reach the city. Then pull over and find a phone. Call the police and tell them who you are. Won't you come with us, Detective? There's a serial killer on the loose here. I can't let him escape. Tell the police I said to send reinforcements pronto. Thank you, Detective. You've saved our lives. Detective, I found this in the church. I thought you might need it. Good luck. Poor Pip. Just keeps coming in when I'm streaming games where the people are not humanoid. Pretty sure I know what this is for. Just need to find the rest of them. The church? The chapel? Or the boathouse by the lake? They must be hidden somewhere there. <laughs> Hurts to be an artist, doesn't it? The landscape illustrations in these are phenomenal. The people are just a little something. Yeah, like it's beautiful. The again, the vibes are immaculate. But woof. <laughs> yeah, so the hidden object games I have I have what I look for in these. Um, the categories that I play are spooky or fairy tale. If it's spooky fairy tale, it gets bonus points. Okay. Incorrect. I like the ones where there's a lot of puzzles in it, and I like the ones where it is more of a like, I like the ones like this where it's art rather than being like clip art or photo collage. Those are just painful. Um... Oh, that thing. Okay. Um. Two rings. Ah. Yep, poor Pip. They tend to be especially bad at drawing men. Huh? I'll have to check. It wasn't 
all that long ago. Like, it's a trilogy of games, and the third one was somewhat recent. Actually, let me, let me see if I can check real quick. Hang on. Will it tell me? Nope. Ah, it looked it up. 2011. Okay. Okay, see, not long ago, I was in high school. Fine. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. And... Mm. Okay. So. I found a skull. Shell. Shell. Okay, I just need this one. Oh, there it is. Boom. Okay. We found a demonic symbol. I love these. Yep. Yeah, see, if we were in high school, then it couldn't have been that long ago, right? Like that was recent. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Pip was in college. Hmm. Um, let's see. Morse code. You could spot that. No. <gasps> you consider 13 years ago recent? <gasps> Hate that. Hate that. I do not like thinking about how long ago recent stuff was. Luke was graduated. Wah wah. I was hip in 2012. I've been behind the times ever since. Mm. Tiller says I was never hip. I was kind of hipster. Like I liked, I liked some popular things, and I liked some things that were not like what everyone else is into. So, you know, same as now. Um... Umbrella, crown, shuffle. I feel like I should be able to find at least one of these. Oh wait, poker. So, Mars, is that, that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and, alright, so a crown, a shovel, and an umbrella. There's the shovel. So, crown and an umbrella. Right, so. I like the Nancy Drew games, but... They're not, like, while they do have their own formula, it's not quite as tight of a formula as hidden object games tend to have. And, ah, there we go. And even though I have them basically memorized for the most part, uh, it does still require more brain from me than a hidden object game does. 
Like the hidden object games are that that I play at least are all pretty much the same ish. I am not sure what I'm gonna do when I finish all the Nancy Drew games. There's definitely gonna be some mist getting played. Like I do have a few other puzzle games. Other than that, I don't know. Oh, I think I had to write this down last time. Do I still have it written down? Probably not. Oh. Alright. Luke asks, is miner or geologist better? Oh, you've got the level up? I always do the one where you can get two gems. Because, like, as you're working through the mines, you find a lot of ore, so that builds up pretty fast. But the gems, like, you don't find as often, and they make really good gifts for a lot of people. Two, six, eight, one, five, three. Okay. So, yeah, I definitely want to stream the Mist games. That I know for sure. Telltale. I don't know. Uh. Um. Oops. Rats. What are the Telltale games? Like, it sounds vaguely familiar. There we go. But I can't quite place it. It says they're a company from 2010 era gaming. They do a lot of story based narrative games and are a lot of fun. The style is very painted comic book art esque. Okay. I'm trying to think if I've played any of those. <laughs> Alright, get some light in here. We can immediately regret it. I remember now. I own Wolf Among Us. You've gone too far, detective. Think. You want to know what happened to them? Looks like you learned the hard way. I think I own that one. I at least have the first episode of it. And... Cause is... Cause isn't that... The one that's, like, based on... Fable? Yeah, I've been reading... A smart Wait. detective. Smarter than I thought. A great pity for us both. My bell, you silenced it before I could drain my puppets and fully revive. My congratulations. I'm helpless. Is it true? Did you murder all those women? Why? Who are you? I did. But the who and why are of no consequence to you. You'd neither believe nor understand. It doesn't matter. You'll do no harm to anyone anymore. What's behind that door? You know perfectly well, detective, but why not indulge your curiosity? Hmm? I've been reading Fable on and off for a while. Um, I haven't finished it. So I have the game, but haven't played it yet. On this altar of evil, 
I'll do whatever it takes to destroy it, if that means no one else is murdered here. Oh. Thank you, detective. I knew you could solve it. Now, it's high time. I close this case. I've been waiting for this moment for 30 years. Wait. I know who you are and what he has done, but he must be brought to trial. No, you have no idea who he is. What he is. He must be stopped once and for all. I'll kill him right here, right now. He'll suffer the same fate as his victims. Then you'll be no better than him. Think of Emily. Is this what she would have you do? Don't you dare speak her name. You can't stop me, detective. Yeah, I would need to know how family friendly it is. Because as... What's it? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, as Chiller pointed out, BG3 is an option. Like, I don't know how much of BG3 I want to stream. It gets really dark. It's sad and creepy. <laughs> what are you doing? There will be no more murders here. Also, again, like when the characters flirt, I have to leave the room because I get so flustered. So I don't know how comfortable I'd be streaming all the way through. Detective, can you hear me? You've done well, Detective. Kate Burroughs is here, safe in our custody. Her boyfriend is recovering at the hospital, and Maple Creek is finally at peace. However, we could find neither hide nor hair of the criminal, and Hamilton disappeared into thin air, too. Thank you again, Detective. I owe my life to you, but I'm afraid I'll never feel safe with the killer still on the loose. Trust me, Kate. He may have gone into hiding, but I haven't stopped hunting him. I never will. It is a trilogy. I have finished playing the trilogy. I really enjoyed it. Like... I... like, um, hidden object games for turning my brain off, but I don't want to turn it off all the way. And as far as hidden object games go, this one was really good for, like, engaging my brain more than they normally do without it being because the game is awful and impossible to figure out. Like, a lot of them, the puzzles are hard to solve because they don't make sense. The puzzles make a lot more sense in this one. So. Yeah, I've got quite a few Nancy Drew games still left, so I won't have to think about it too much for a while yet. Yeah, I do want to mix in some Mist games. Because I did stream Abduction and Firmament. Oh. I know, Luke and Trumpet both really, really, really want to see the Mist games streamed here. The third one's my favorite. I've actually never finished the fourth one. I... <laughs> I'd played it on Xbox. Not 360. Not one. Just Xbox. And there was this one puzzle that 
I, like, it just, it wouldn't let me, like, it would not accept the solution. I even looked it up on a walkthrough to make sure that was the correct solution, and it just wouldn't, it wouldn't click. So, <sighs> I don't know if I'm, I've heard of Monkey Island. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Xbox was our first console. Yeah, I owned Mist 4 Revelation for Xbox. Still own it because everything joins the shrine. Haven't had a place to display my Mist Shrine for a while. One of these days we'll get a nice display. Oh my gosh, Pip says, that was the first one I bought with my own money and played KOTOR 400 times. Ugh. Yeah, I I don't want to think about how many times I played KOTOR 2 and was disappointed every time because it wouldn't let me marry Atten. <sighs> like, he wants to s protect you and you can't marry him. Speaking of locked doors being unfair to the player... Oh gosh. Pip, I relate to that. Pip says, Atten! Ah! It is a crime! A crime, I say! It is. It says, my mom forgot to homeschool me my freshman year and KOTOR was my constant class. Yeah, uh, I think there was at least one semester or so that um, all I learned was Stargate. Like, we, we, we had excuses, we had reasons, there was a lot of stuff going on, I was fine, but... Oh gosh, I hated Disciple. He's just... Uh, he's creepy, he has Fedora vibes. Cyan hmm. also left things out. Oh yeah! Like, Code War 2 just makes me want to write sci-fi romance. Star Wars in general makes me want to write sci-fi romance because it never, like, it's the genre is always sci-fi and it's like, I want it, the genre to be romance and it just happens to be in a sci-fi setting, but no. <laughs> Since there's supposed to be this whole crazy subplot where Cyan is jealous of Atten's love for the exile and all this crazy conflict comes from it. I want to play that game! <sighs> Gosh. Yeah, the wasted potential is killer. I can't. I can't. Um, yeah, we just finished Creature of Kapu Cave and I was very surprised by how disappointed I was. And Luke looked it up and saw that there are rumors, rumors, that they may have rushed Kapu Cave in favor of the following game. Which would explain a lot about Kapu Cave. Ugh. It says Malachor 5 could have been the craziest level and ending of the game by far, and instead it was just like, huh? The whole final level of KOTOR 2, I just found so meh and, like, frustrating. Also, the first time I reached it, I literally could not finish the game. Because... Right. Some spoilers... For... The end for people who haven't played it. Um, the final battle is against a Sith. You haven't really fought Sith through the rest of the game. Like, not 
Definitely not ones that are like an actual threat or anything. So one of the force abilities that you can get is to like make you immune to others force powers or something. And I did not take any levels in that ability because you never fight someone who's using the force. And then the final battle where there are no more level ups available to you, you fight a very strong force user and basically they can use their powers to make you lose a turn every turn. So there was literally just no way for me to beat that level because the battle starts and I lose a turn and then on the next turn I lose a turn and that was just like they just I lost a turn every turn until they killed me it was the actual worst <laughs> Oh, poor Pip. The abs are back. <laughs> yes, Twitch doesn't care. <laughs> it says we heard you like losing a turn, so we got you some losing a turn to go with your losing a turn. Seriously, like, you know the MST3K episode, The Unearthly? So, in the in the unearthly the mystery science theater episode they they decide to make a board game based on the movie they're watching and so they take pieces from a bunch of the board games they have and smush them together and make a new little card deck and um like new rule book and stuff and like every turn the first thing that happens is you lose a turn and if you lose a turn, you have to draw a card, and the card says that you lose two turns. And, like, it's this whole thing where it's like, all that happens is you lose a turn, and as they're reading the rules, like, every time they get to the end of, like, there, here's what happens if this thing occurs, everyone can just chorus together, and then you lose a turn. And that's what the final battle is like in KOTOR 2. Like, if you lose a turn, then you lose a turn. Like, that's- that feels like it's literally one of the rules. If you lose a turn, then you lose a turn. It is like playing the Unearthly game. And they haven't set it up. So, there has been no reason to take the powers at level up that would make you not lose all of your turns. So it was just unplayable, unbeatable, and that was very unsatisfying. So I had to play the whole game again, re-strategizing my build through the entire game in order to defeat the singular battle at the end, which was the only one I needed any of those powers for. So that was frustrating. Yeah, KOTOR 2 is the game of wasted potential. It's so sad. It's so good, but so bad. And just, ugh. It's a tragedy. It's an actual tragedy. <sighs> so. Alright, well, we've beaten two games. Oh my gosh. Pip has done all the fangirl. Says, I was so obsessed with the exile, I had email addresses and usernames named after her. Aww. We've beaten two games, so I probably do need to stop even though I'm having a lovely time hanging out with people. <sighs> but I certainly should be back tomorrow. <laughs> I know. 
Like, we're socializing now. It's like the, the... It's like having coffee together after dinner, you know? Now we repair to the salon. Alright. So. I know, right? One of the reasons that I rank Enigmatis really high um, among hidden object games is the music is so good. Like, I would buy the soundtrack if they would let me. It's fantastic. I have, like, there are most hidden object games I will and there are all these, like, obscure import Russian games, like the hidden object ones are. Like, most of them are made by teams in Eastern Europe. Um, so good luck finding most stuff. But a lot of them I can play while I'm listening to an audiobook or something, but there are a handful where I will play the game so I can listen to the soundtrack. This is one of them. So yeah, I'm I'm actually like actively looking for the soundtrack and trying to figure out if there's a place I can get it. But yeah, so I should be back tomorrow, usual time, three o'clock Eastern. Um, probably doing something home decor related, like yeah. Oh, Pip says thanks for the vibes. I love it when I can provide a vibe. That's my favorite. So that compliment hits so hard. Thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll be doing something home decor related, I'm sure. So we'll, we'll see what I'll I'll keep things more or less updated. Oh, nice. Chilling nice is what I aim for. I just want to be a place to rest. But, but until that next restful stream, thank you all so much for watching. I'm so glad that you were able to spend this time with me. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. Bye, everybody.